friends. Today, we're going to be doing my weekly budget. I almost forgot. Um, I'm busy with the budget box, so I do apologize. We're like a day late. What I did do last week was try to keep up again like I did the last week. I think about Saturday, I ran out of steam. Um, the Saturday evening things I purchased, I just ran out of steam. But what I'm going to do is quickly um, go over last week. We guesstimated 12. We actually made 1045 in here. Norris Cove made some money, but that just went right back into getting some things for the box and the business. Uh, miscellaneous, y'all, <laughs> I got $465 from the state of Maryland for taxes, but here's the thing, it's kind of still in my account because I have, I owe $400. So it's just sitting there. I've pinched off of it and then I'll put it back. Um, I had rollover, which something I realized I never do that the reason why my budget may be off is I had a rollover of $50. Then I took pretty much $93 from myself from my cash envelopes. Um, put a pen in it real quick, but I'm thinking that I need to hold off on doing cash envelopes because really I'm just taking out, I'm saving for like two weeks and then I'm taking it back out when I think that I really need the money to pay things because I think that's how I got a little bit behind. So I'm going to hold off on cash stuffing for a little bit, but I will get back to it. And then, so my total was 560. And then I realized I had this note here of $93. Um, American Home Show got paid. Chase, I went ahead and paid Chase. They were behind, so they're caught up. They're 113. And Navy Federal got paid, which is $20. HP Inc. Um, the money was there, but maybe it's a little more than what I had there. So I'll have to look into that. So I'm sure they'll just come back around and try to get their money. Allie did not get paid. Capital One, I did pay Capital One, and I paid Capital One $57. But that should be coming out this week. <clears throat> so I gave them, because I had a little balance. I'm over by 187. So what I do is try to round it off just to get an even number. Um, Booth Rent, of course, didn't pay none of these. This in red. Canva finally came out. Why is that on last week? Okay, I guess it came out last week. Um, eating out, y'all. I really did good on my eating out. Um, I'm going to do a quick calculation. Now, I know... Let's do a quick calculation because all of this was, I started the week out pretty good. Well, we went over the 60, let's say that. Um, yeah, so we ended up like 73 and I think maybe, we, we're about at $100. Um, I'm not going to even go through all this. So my little closeout will be looking a little scarce i'll have to come back in here and do some math but i did however come in here and then write in my income because that's really the most kind of important thing to me so when i get some time because i'm in the middle of budget box and i was like oh my god i didn't do my budget video i'll come back and fill all that in but i do want to get to this week's budget what you all are here for and by the way, if you're new here, I'm Yoshida. I'm a self-employed hairstylist. And I like to get my life together by planning minimally and functionally using a planner. But today we're doing our weekly budget. So source hair. I'm gonna do miscellaneous, uh, no co, and rollover. So rollover, I know that we have the 465. And then there was some money I had left over. Oh my goodness. I'm not for sure exactly how much. It was probably like 50. So we'll do 515. Okay. And this will be for the week of March 18th through the, this is not Easter week with this is the 23rd 24th let me pull out my other planner here to see okay so the 24th i thought so and let's whip out let's go to my monthly view so that we can see what we got going on this month 
uh, for this week. This is the 18th. T-Mobile comes out on the 21st. And there'll be one thirteen ninety four. Barclays, I have down the 22nd, and they're $50. We have booth rent, $250. And that's all for this week. So let's see what is in red that we need to take care of. Y'all, I got another... Um, I've been using, where is it? <clears throat> I've been using this pen that, that was in one of our boxes. This one, I saw, I can't remember. I saw someone using this Pilot Friction and it's erasable. I just realized it has something on it. Uh, it is erasable. So I said, oh, let me give that a try. Plus I thought the green looked better. Um, so we're going to use this one today. I started to send it back because it's no better than this one. <laughs> So we're going to use the Palette Friction one today, but this is actually my favorite, this deli one. But let's try this one today. So we know we got to take care of Allie. Yeah, see, they're red, ain't that great? Oh, I see. Look, I spelled it wrong. So it erases. So it's Allie. And it's really like 849. Uh, let me just put 849. Then we have State Farm. Y'all, everything is behind. State Farm is like almost $1,200. Listen, <laughs> I know I don't have it, okay? We need to do Citibank. We need to do Ulta. Citibank, I don't even know. We, we'll go for 100. Ulta, we'll go for 100. You know, actually, this isn't bad. This pen isn't bad. Let's see, anything else? Oh, and we have Shopify that we need to take care of and that's 200 which which will get taken care of this week i'm almost positive looks like the only thing that is behind so ulta state farm oh let's see oh and paypal okay i think paypal i'm just gonna put 70 dollars for paypal but everything else these are what needs to be done oh we didn't guesstimate let's do a guesstimate for, I hope I was in frame. Let's do a guesstimate for hair. I'm just stick on the low side. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna do a thousand. Norris Cove. I don't need to take anything from Norris Cove this week if it makes money. Actually, I did get a payment today, but I don't need to take anything from it that I know of. But I'll just put fifty. Okay. So let's do a little totaling. So we have $683.94. What I did do, I did include PayPal and I did include Shopify because I got to pay that in order to ship. So we have $683. So I just put little ticks there to kind of let me know that that's included in everything that I did. So we have $683.94. Okay. Sinking funds. Oh, God. I, don't even, I, I think I'm going to do this later because I'm just unsure of what I want to do or if there'll be, I can think I can do this later once I do try to work on my totals this week. And debt payments, I should put PayPal down here. Let me look at my debt payoff workbook. So first, let me snap this in. I'm leaving that leaving that there because I want to add those up when I get a chance. Let's see what we need to work on. My goal was to work on community. This has gotten down, so I think I should give community an extra $50 payment, even though they're not due to the first. So let's go 
there. And even though, I'm just gonna put this in green. Nope, I think I'll put it in blue. Let's put it in blue. Cause it's not behind, it's just the extra debt payment. This is my regular pen. <laughs> It's, I'm just so used to this one, and I, I actually like this one. This one's a little thicker, and it's like really no need to be as thick. Let's see if the blue is the same ink. Budget. Y'all see that? Mm -mm. It don't write as good as mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. So $50, so we'll see. That's our goal, to give that 50 We know that expenses, I need to get gas this week. So far, I don't know about products, but I'm going to put them down. Um, gas will probably run me about 65. That's what I'm budgeting. Products, I'm gonna say 30. That would be 95. And this will be 50. Okay. So let's do a little bit of math again. Y'all, I need to declunk this planner. Like, she's too thick. So let's see. Our total is 500, excuse me, $1,565 minus $683. Minus $95. Minus 50. Mm -hmm. That leaves $736 and zero. Mm. I don't know. Let me let me try this again. I feel like for some reason $1,565 minus 683. That leaves eight hundred and eighty-one dollars ninety-five. Yeah, seven thirty-six remaining. Seven hundred and thirty-six dollars and zero sixes. Okay. Well, it says I have seven hundred and thirty-six dollars to play with. Uh, I don't know. But I do know is I definitely got to take care of Alley and State Farm. Those are very important. I got to be able to drive. I was just in my little financial group and I saw where a girl had an accident and she didn't have any coverage because she couldn't afford it. And that's just the way of life right now. So I need to figure it out. But that is it for today, you guys. Thank you again for watching. Also, if you're new here, check out some of my other videos. I'll try to leave them here. Check out some of my other videos and budget related or past budget videos. Take some time, look at my budget playlist. I have a whole playlist. I have over 460 videos here on my channel. So make sure that you binge watch and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.